What's up everyone, I'm Alexis from AMZ Stats and in this video we go over PPC basics, so stay tuned. One of the most important aspects regarding selling on Amazon is learning how to properly manage and create your pay-per-click or PPC advertising campaigns, especially if you're in the early stages of just starting your Amazon FBA business. This is due to the fact that once you launch your first listing, it's going to start from the bottom. Therefore, the only way you're going to get any exposure is going to be via PPC. Now, if you're not really familiar with what PPC ads are, they're the listings that you can see at the top, middle, or bottom of a page while searching for products on Amazon. They all have sponsored above the product titles written in light gray letters like this. Keep in mind that PPC ads don't only show up on the first page of search. The ads are displayed on any of the following pages. Your position is going to depend on how high the bid is. You can actually strategically place your bids to find a nice balance between exposure and spending, but more on that another time. Now to begin your PPC campaign, start in your Seller Central account and click on Advertising Campaign Manager, and then you're going to have an option on creating a new campaign. Click it and you're going to have the ability to choose between manual and automatic targeting. Choose manual and it's going to allow you to start adding in keywords. Now once you do, you're going to come across match types. Now before we go that far, let's set up an example to illustrate. We're going to have to find a keyword, but before finding a keyword, we need a product. For this example, let's use a fuzzy blue blanket. To see what a good keyword would be to advertise for our PPC, we can use AMZ Scouts Keyword Explorer to find it. Let's try blue blanket as one keyword and fuzzy blanket as the other. And let's see which one will be a better keyword for our product. After comparing the two main keywords for our example product, fuzzy blanket and blue blanket, fuzzy blanket makes more sense because of the higher search volume. So let's say that we select manual and put in our keyword fuzzy blanket with every match type in our new campaign. It's going to look like this. As you can see, there are three match types, exact, phrase, and broad. They go from most specific to least specific, and they each can be strategically used for different effects. So let's start with the most specific one. Exact match type. As the name suggests, this match type will show your listing as a sponsored ad only to people that type in that exact keyword. There is only one permutation included. The plural. Now using our example fuzzy blanket as an exact match type keyword, our listing would show when someone searches for these. Phrase match type. The next tier of ad targeting precision is the phrase match type. This match type includes everything exact does along with some additional permutations. It includes every possible long-tailed keyword, aka multiple words keyword, that contains the original word from the campaign without changing the order of the words. Once again, using our example of fuzzy blanket as a phrase match type keyword, our PPC ads will show if someone searches for anything like the following. It is possible for the ads to be displayed once someone searches for anything that keeps the two words in order. This includes anything that can be typed in the back or the front. Phrase match type doesn't include the keywords fuzzy blue blanket since the word blue separates the original keyword fuzzy blanket. The same can also be applied for a single keyword like blanket. It would allow for words to be in front or behind it like blue blanket or blankets for picnics, things like that. Broad match type. Finally, the broad match type, as the name suggests, is the most unspecific match type. It includes everything that both phrase and exact include, along with basically every permutation possible. As far as the broad match type is concerned, your ad can be displayed wherever someone types in your keywords in any order, no matter how far apart. Now using our example of fuzzy blanket one last time, here's the times of keyword searches that our ad will show up as a broad match type. The broad match type is perfect for testing out new keywords as well as finding new long-tailed keywords. One of the most common approaches people take is to put in some keyword with the broad match type in their PPC and then let it run for a while. After a period of time, extract an advertising report and see what the report shows. The report can show that a certain number of long-tailed keywords are generating sales. Once you discover those, then run them on phrase match type and narrow down the keywords even more. 
after all is said and done, you're going to have a number of solid keywords that can run on exact match type. While discovering new keywords, it's always useful to know their search volume. You can see some examples using the AMZ Scouts Keyword Explorer. It's so important to know as much information as you can while devising and maintaining your PPC campaigns. Your ability to use PPC and research all the options can easily be the difference between success and failure of your product. It's also extremely important to remember that PPC management is a continuous process. You can't just find a keyword and hope it's going to keep working forever. You need to constantly pay attention to your campaigns and reevaluate your decisions. Develop a habit of extracting advertising reports and analyzing them to learn what kind of adjustments should be made based on what they indicate. Knowing what the match types are and how to use them is one of the essential basics of PPC. Understanding them should help you a lot, especially if you're just starting out with Amazon FBA. Of course, there's so much more to PPC than just this, but this is a video on basics, and in this regard, this video has now come to an end. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found something useful from it. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. For more on selling on Amazon, check out our blog as well as the rest of our YouTube videos. Until next time, happy selling!